Hello everybody and welcome back to another Fearless Friday. I'm very, very happy to be back here again and I'm willing to willing to be up here again because I believe the Lord has laid something on me again at the um, very last minute when I really had didn't really have an idea of what I really wanted to talk about this week, but I just love it when the Lord does that and he just gives me everything that I need right when I need it. So um but uh, before we begin with tonight's topic, we're just going to do what we do every single day. I'm just going to pray that the Lord will speak through me in the way that he wants me to. And pray that your ears will be hope open so that you may hear what I have to say today. So, dear gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for this beautiful day that you've given us today, Lord. For today is called the present day because it always has been, always will be, and always is a gift from you, our Heavenly Father. And God, I just ask you to just lead, guide, and lead and guide my words today, God, so that I may speak in the way that is easy for these people to understand that are watching today. And I pray that these people that are watching today's ears will be open, so that they may hear what you have that you have laid upon me today. And if there's anybody out there that needs it today, God, or in any day of the week, or in any day of the month, or whenever, whenever they need it, Lord. I pray that it reaches them in any way it can. And in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Now, this is probably going to be a shorter video, which I've said that in the past, and they've been, really haven't been that short, but I really think this is going to be a, um, a shorter one. That, um, because it's a topic that I just wanted to address really quickly because it's something that I've personally been dealing with as well. But uh, I know there's a bunch of people out there that will need to hear it as well and are also dealing with this specific thing. So um, I just thought I'd address that a little bit just to give you guys some encouraging words for whenever you, whenever you feel this sort of way. I want you to guys know what is true. So what we're talking about tonight is the difference between wants and needs within our lives. And this comes from in a, um, a website called intouch.org. This is something that I found that really, really ties into what I'm trying to, um, that I want to explain to you guys today. So let's get straight into it. See, sometimes we confess our wants and needs. I mean, of course, we all have wants and needs within our lives. But sometimes whenever we have wants within our lives, they can become a crucial part to how we live. See, it says we can become so focused on, their, on our wants that they feel crucial to our personal well-being. Then, when God doesn't meet our need, quote-unquote, whenever we pray to Him, just ask that He'll fulfill this need that we have and, that we have and need of, um, we become frustrated and sometimes angry because God God didn't answer what we had what we had wanted. So if we ever feel this way, we should begin to ask ourselves, is this my is my petition essential to accomplishing God's purpose or is it only for my personal enjoyment? See, if we can't complete the Lord's plan without something else that correlates with that plan, then that something becomes a need. And he will answer when we pray for him to fulfill that need. As it says in uh, Philippians 4.19, it really, really fits into the, to this specific part right here. It says, And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. So, but um, some of you might be asking, well, I know that my needs are very, very important, Matthew, but I know my God isn't a selfish God either. I mean, he sent his son, Jesus Christ, his one and only begotten son to die on a wooden cross for me so that I would have an opportunity to live in a personal relationship with him. So, doesn't God care about the things that I want as well? My answer to that is, of course he does. See, God is also pleased 
to satisfy wants that fit within his purpose. Listen to that, that fit within his purpose and his will. Psalms 37 verse 4 says these words, Take delight in the Lord. Take delight in the Lord, remember that. And he will give you the desires of your heart. You see, and while he isn't obligated to grant the wishes or fulfill any plans but his own plans, he says that those who seek him won't lack any good thing, as Psalms 34.10 says. Pursuing the Lord above all else means making our desires subject to his will. And when we delight in the Lord, there's that verse again, He'll also shape our desires. Now, we all have wants and needs in our lives, and God cares about both of them. See, I'm just going to go back to what it said right here. Whenever we want to accomplish a goal within our lives that's going to, that's going to push God's plan for us forward, that's something that we need is an essential need. For God's plan that he has for us and sometimes whenever we have a want within our lives God can also use that want to fulfill his plan that he has for you and my lives but um, whenever God doesn't always doesn't always give us what we want we always have to ask ourselves was it what God needed or was it what I wanted? You see, whenever we're and wherever we're in these moments, we've always got to trust and believe that He will always meet the needs within our lives and to make sure that our minds are set on the path to which we need to go, the things that we need to have, so that God can fulfill the all of the things that He has planned for us within our lives. And the reason that he does that is so that he can show his glory to you and me. See, our Heavenly Father wants to be his children's greatest delight, the one in whom fulfillment and satisfaction are found. And when that is true in a believer's life, then he or she does not require a lot of stuff, entertainment or people in order to be happy joy is in the Lord because when we align our wants and needs with God's wants and needs his provision never disappoints so dear gracious Heavenly Father we thank you for this time that we've had together and I pray that this lesson touched anybody here that they that was watching it today and I pray that if there's anybody out there that needs to listen to it today, God, I pray that it can reach them in any way it can. And God, as we go about our weekend through our week and the week after that and all the days after that, I pray that if there's anyone that needs to remember what the difference is between wants and needs, that they remember this video and that they come back to it if they so please. And in Jesus' precious holy name we pray. Amen. God bless you guys. Have an amazing weekend, and I pray to see you soon. God bless.